up in Atlanta as the Republican candidate, a Republican candidate. What would we look like in front of a polling place with batons? You know we don't carry batons. Psych. KB News with a special report. They call themselves the Rise of the Moors. Yesterday morning, a group of black men was traveling through Boston, Massachusetts on I-95 to Maine. The group of 11 was detained by state police. The state police and white media will later call it an armed standoff. Unfortunately, all men were arrested on unknown offenses. Yeah. It is July 3rd, 2021. We are in North America, Morocco. We are on the Interstate 95 near uh, exit 57.4. The mile marker is right near this police vehicle, which they're going to be moving it soon, and I'll, I'll be able to walk up because I don't want them to think anything funny. But in fact, I'll just show you for the record because <clears throat> we already assured them that we're going to be peaceful, so uh, they have nothing to worry about. But the mile marker was right here. So that's where we are. Uh, <clears throat> I reassured them that we are not sovereign citizens. I reassured them that we are not uh, black identity extremists. I reassured them that uh, we are not anti-police. I reassured them that we are not anti-government. I reassured them that these men here will not be pointing guns at them. I reassured them that we're trying to come to a peaceful resolution. I reassured them that I'm willing to give them any information that is necessary to ensure that we can come to a peaceful re resolution so that way they can issue a summons to us in court and uh, handle this civilized. I've also specified how, according to the United States Supreme Court, Younger versus the state of Hawaii, the United States Supreme Court stated how uh, the possession of a firearm is not a crime. It constitutes no offense, which means they have no right or authority to detain us. Uh, I also specified how, according to the United States federal law, we have the right to peaceful journey. So with that being said, we should not have been uh, detained here. We were not pulled over. We had stopped to fuel our vehicle. I'm gonna show you for the record. I also have a body cam. It's still recording. My uh, body cam is right here. <clears throat> the red light indicates that it's, that it's recording. Our vehicle is full of camping equipment, which supports uh, what I said about how we're going to our private land to train, which is our second amendment right. I also specified how, according to uh, excuse me, uh, the federal laws of the United States, peaceful journey, we have the right to travel as long as we're not making any unnecessary stops. I assured the police that we prepared for this because we prepared to abide by federal law, uh, the federal laws of the United States, including the treaty laws of the United States. So I ensured them that uh, we had planned to fill up these fuel tanks, which I'm about to show you right now. So that way we don't have to make any unnecessary stops. So that way we could have just passed through their state. They specified how they were trying to protect public security and public peace. And I specified how we were just traveling through. We weren't, we weren't going to stop and we were going to stop at any gas stations because that could have alerted the public, which is why we have the gas tanks right here and right here. So, so that way we can avoid having to stop at gas stations. So that way we don't alert the public and uh, there's no need for them to, to be here. But, uh, they're the reason why we're still here. We've been asking to go on our peaceful journey. Yeah. Yes, I do. I'm live right now. All right.